Hi, today we are going to learn the division method of finding the square root. So as you can see, I have already noted down the procedure to find the square root using division method. So we'll take one number whose square root we want to find and then we will use this procedure step by step to find the square root. So suppose the number for which we want to find the square root is 729 and as we do in division, we will draw these lines to do the division of this number and the first step of the procedure says make pairs of digits starting from units place. So this will be one pair and this will be another pair. In second pair or in the leftmost pair we have only one digit. So never mind this is going to work perfectly fine and the second step says find the largest number whose square is smaller than the leftmost pair. So let's start from 2. 2 twos are 4. 4 is smaller than 7 but let's check with 3 also. 3 threes are 9. 9 is bigger than 7 so we have to take 2 as our divisor. So what they say next? Next they say is write this number as divisor as well as quotient. So I have to write 2 over here as divisor. Let me write D here and in this direction we are going to write quotient. So I have to write 2 over here also in place of quotient. So I have written 2 in the place of divisor and quotient perform division and calculate remainder. So to perform division, how we perform division? Yes, we multiply divisor with quotient which is 2 in both the cases. 2 to the 4 and then we find the remainder. Right? 7 minus 4 is 3. Okay? So we have performed the division and calculated the remainder. Then the fourth step is copy down the next pair. So we will copy down the next pair and the number in the next pair is 29. So I will copy down 29. This is the place where it differs from the normal division. In normal division we copy down one digit at a time. But here we are copying down numbers in or the digits in pair which is a two digit number. And let's go to the fifth step. Fifth step says add latest digit in quotient to divisor and note it as new divisor leaving units place for the next digit in divisor. So I will add 2 which is the quotient over here to the divisor which is 2 and 2 plus 2 4 and I have to leave this place for the new digit in the divisor. And what will be that digit that is written in the step number 6. Step 6 says find the new digit of units place of the divisor and quotient in such a way that the product of the newly formed number that is the number which is getting formed in divisor and the digit is smaller but closest to the dividend. So the dividend in this case is 329 and I have to find a number in this place in such a way that the product of the new divisor and this number is closest but smaller than 329. So when we are guessing for that number, we should keep this unit's place of the dividend in mind. So we have 9 over here and 3 3's are 9. So 3 can be one number over here. So the new divisor will become 43 and 43 when get multiplied by 3, we get 3 3's are 9 and 4 3's are 12. 129. It is way lesser than 329. So we have to think about another number. So another number whose square has 9 at units place is 7. 7 7's are 49. So the number formed by putting 7 at units place will be 47. And when 47 gets multiplied by 7, we get 7 7's are 49. 4 carried forward. 7 4's are 28. 28 plus 4 is 32. 329. Right? So this place will get filled by 7 and 7 will come here also as quotient right? and 47 multiplied by 7 gives us 329 and if I subtract we get 0 as the remainder and moreover all our pairs have got exhausted. right? 
And now let's go to the seventh step. Seventh step says repeat this procedure till all the pairs get exhausted. But we have got remainder as zero and all the pairs have already got exhausted. So now we have to go to the eighth step. Eighth step says quotient is the square root. So what is the quotient over here? Quotient over here is 27. That means the square root of 729 is equal to 27. Right? You can check it by multiplying 27 to 27. So if you want, we can use the calculator. This is the calculator. 27 when gets multiplied by 27, we get 729. That means the square root of 729, let's find the square root over here, is 27. So this is division method of finding the square root.